Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqeem. And God just put this word on my spirit why they hate the new you. Why they hate the new you, man. Why are they hating on you? You didn't do nothing wrong. You just doing you. Right? It's crazy. But you got to see when you are chosen one, when you being called by God, it's going to bring haters. It's going to bring scoffers. It's going to bring persecutors and mockers. People who look down on you. People who never thought you would amount to anything. But God is greater than everything. And his word stands alone and no one can question God. Amen. So give glory to God. Give glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But you know, people hate you because they ain't you. You know the saying goes, people hate you because they ain't you. So keep on doing you. Keep on learning about yourself. Keep on investing in yourself. Keep on healing. Keep on growing. Keep on improving. Because the only way is up. If you're willing to put in that time, those sacrifices, the effort. You just got to go forward. Even if it's just a little bit. Even if you slow down. But as long as you're going forward, you're doing well. I'm proud of you. But see, the reason why they hate you, especially when you're doing work according to God's will, because you're going to set people free from their bondage of the devil. And the devil don't want that. He's like, oh, hell no. You trying to set people free by the name of Jesus? You crazy. You crazy. You think I'm going to just let you do that? Yeah, bro, he ain't going to just let you do that. He not going to let you get to the next level in peace the saying is new levels new devils so you gotta understand when god is elevating you expect an increase of spiritual warfare increase of attacks coming your way but you know we walk by faith not by sight always be immersed in your word and say you are just being called right now are you being called to do the work of the lord a great expect a great separation to happen. God gonna separate you from a job. God gonna separate you from your family. God gonna separate you from those friends. You gonna wonder why why they acting funny. I just gave my life to God. Now they acting funny. Now they moving funny. Cause God says, "Be ye set apart." He called you to be set apart to Himself. That's why you don't fit in. That's probably why some of y'all never fitted in. Let's go deep. People always probably seen the light in you and you never seen it in yourself. You never had anybody acknowledge the things you did. So you always looked at yourself as less than. You looked at yourself unworthy. But you gotta renew your mind. You gotta reprogram that. Cause God sees you as worthy if he chose you, if he anointed you, if he have called you, you are worthy in the eyes of the Lord. Then that's an honor unto you. And as you're being departed from, you know, families, friend groups, jobs, you know, expect it to hurt. It's going to hurt because people are going to show their true colors for you. Your eyes going to start to open. For blessed are those who got eyes to see and ears to hear. Your eyes going to start to open. You're going to start seeing things in a new light, in a new way, in different perspectives. You enlighten. You want you want to want to go out and share this new enlightenment with people. You know how God saved you, how God healed you, how you being called by the Most High, just like Joseph. But then it comes back as backlash, hate, jealousy, envy, because they see where God is taking you, or they see, or they seen past tense. They already seen the blessings on you, so they had to make sure you never seen it. That what like the uh, generational curses comes from in families. Like your own family could be your biggest threat. Just like in Joseph's case, his brothers, his own brothers. 
his own brothers, man, wanted to kill him. But they couldn't because, you know, he was his brother. And so they cast him into like a pit and they sold him into slavery. His own flesh and blood, man. Man. That shows you that blood don't mean nothing. Blood don't be nothing. That not stands to this day, bro. It's those who align with you in the spirit. Those who align with you to the promise that God has for you. And your own family could be your biggest haters. Your own family could be those who really hate you the most. You know? So it's like, man, you, know, you gotta cling on to the most high. Cling on to Jesus. Because some of us, that's all we have. And that's the best thing to have in Jesus' name. So you got to expect when God is calling you away from certain people, they're going to feel some type of way. But they didn't appreciate, appreciate your presence anyways. They was acting funny. They was moving different. They wasn't inviting you to certain functions. They was talking behind your back, slandering you, mocking you. And now it's a problem that you're trying to do your own thing. You, you, you peep game now. You've been enlightened. You can see everything. So now you draw you you pulling back. I'm like, okay. It's crazy when you pull back your energy from people. Now they're coming back to you. Now things coming to you. That's how it works. That's why you don't want to. That's why you never want to force anything. Because things gonna come back to you. Things gonna come to you. What's for you is going to attract to you. For in John it says, a man received nothing except. It be given to him from heaven. You doing the will of the Father. Amen. Give glory to the Father in Jesus' name. And I just pray that you know that as you continue to progress, you're going to have haters. You're going to have slanderers. You're going to have mockers. But continue to grow in spirit and in truth and put on our full armor of God for the spiritual warfare is daily. It's daily. When God elevating you, you know, give praises to the Heavenly Father. Be always in gratitude. Even if you're not in a season, you a, a winning season. Because we can't win all the time. Right? But always with God, presence in your life, that's a win to me. So always give praise and have gratitude for what you have. I pray that you got edified from this video. I pray you learned something today. Give glory to the Father in heaven. For this is the day he hath made. God bless you all. And peace and blessings.